The road to peace is under construction in Sudan as final transition talks are launched. Chat GPT is the next big thing and Microsoft agrees. Stick around for more. Here in Qatar, Qatar is preparing for a tense but beautiful final in the Quran recitation competition. And finally, does Ronaldo really have to promote the Saudi World Cup 2030 bid? Al Nasser responds. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has welcomed the launch of the final phase of Sudan's political process, which sees officials come together to finalize reconciliation. Sudan has faced years of unrest triggered by an ongoing political crisis. However, the final phase of talks is now set to commence following months of negotiations. This comes after a military coup in October 2021 stood in the way of a power-sharing government. You may have heard of ChatGPT. The AI program lit up the internet since launching in November of last year, gathering a million users in under a week. The chatbot software allows for users to interact with in a conversational way and can write articles, scripts and even poems when prompted. Now Microsoft Corporation is currently locked in discussions with OpenAI, the creator of the viral artificial intelligence bot to potentially invest 10 billion dollars. Now 100 participants have qualified as finalists for Qatar's annual Quran recitation competition. The competition aims to encourage talents to recite the Holy Quran and present them to the world. The 100 participants have been selected from 13 Arab countries and 18 non-Arab countries. And finally, Cristiano Ronaldo's new club team Saudi side Al Nasser FC has publicly denied a rumor that links the superstar to the kingdom's 2030 World Cup bid. Reports had emerged on social media stating that the Portuguese megastar was touted by the Saudi Arabian side in hopes of using his status to promote the bid. However, Al Nasser confirmed his contract has no such clause and said he is there to focus on the club. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.